I'm a damn idiot. I accidentally dyed my hair pink. This is probably all gonna change once I start living in here and inevitably hate everything I've done. What, if you buy a mattress, where are you supposed to sleep for those three days while your mattress is inflating? Hi, welcome. I'm Andy. If you don't know, I'm turning a bus into a house. And if you knew that, then you already knew that. Ah, here's what's going on. I need to be fully moved into the bus in the next seven days. So tonight will be my first night sleeping in the bus. That is correct. Move-in day is today. The bus is looking so cozy and warm and it's just gonna keep getting better from here. So I'm really excited about it. However, I'm not fully functional in here yet. Um, I have running water, but no gray water tank. I've got power. I got power. I've got power, actually. No further comment. I don't yet have my propane hookups ready to go, so it's not 100% ideal, but we'll make it work. The first thing that I need to do is get the mattress in here. Then I can make my bed. <laughs> It was never part of the plan to get a new mattress, but unfortunately, my spring mattress did not fit in here. We just couldn't get it to curl up small enough to fit into this area, so, uh, you know, that's how it goes. I guess while I'm waiting for this to inflate up a little bit, I'm gonna start bringing boxes in. You're supposed to let these things inflate for three days, and I'm just like, what? if you buy a mattress, where are you supposed to sleep for those three days while your mattress is inflating? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I don't get that. It's gonna, it's gonna get a few hours to inflate and then... All right, not exactly a box. I decided I'm gonna start with clothes because that doesn't seem as daunting as everything else, honestly. So I'm not gonna fight the urge to just do clothes first. I'm gonna let myself have this one. Before we start on the clothes, I've moved house a lot. And something that I've learned that really helps this whole process feel so much nicer and so much more special is to like make each move in an event. This time I more than ever feel like there's something really big to celebrate here. It just helps me feel so much more excited and at peace and at home and whichever place I'm moving into, which this time is a place that I literally built with these dumb, stupid hands. gonna do. I just brought all the clothes onto the bed and I didn't think about it and I don't know where I want anything to go. I guess I'm gonna start with bigger items in this big center area. This is probably all gonna change once I start living in here and inevitably hate everything I've done. All of the clothes fit in here with ease, which is such a big relief. Although I'm not that surprised. We don't have that many clothes, that much clothes. Many clothes? Much? I don't know. In the big cabinet, We've got outer layers, just like big stuff that takes up a lot of space. And then in the headboard, we have all of our other clothes. So everything else, literally everything else is in the headboard. I think now I'm gonna make the bed and then store all of the extra bedding somewhere and figure out where I wanna put that. Um, wow, okay, first impressions. That was really hard, and I'm sweating a lot. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that that's probably never gonna get easier. In conclusion, that was humbling. I think I'm gonna put my extra linens and bedding and stuff in the couch since I'm not gonna need it that often. This is going really well so far. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna regret some of the choices that I'm making right now, but it's very satisfying to get to start making these choices in the first place. Time to lift the heaviest couch on the planet. Ooh. Oh, shit. I still need to secure it into the ground. I also need some kind of support mechanism to help hold it up because it's kind of annoying to have to hold it. And if I'm already annoyed by it, that's probably not good. We're getting ready to watch a movie and go to bed here in a second. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears. Feels good. Feels good. It feels very good that we get to actually enjoy 
what we built with our own two hands. Yeah. I hope this place retains the heat pretty well. You know, it's right now it's, what does that say, 73 degrees? So it's not cold. I'm hot. I think it's hot in here. Uh, I think, I'm, I'm comfortable. <laughs> okay. But my toes are freezing. I'm sweating. For me, it doesn't even feel real. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's really exciting that, like you said, we get to sleep somewhere that we built with literally our own two hands. It's, it's just very surreal. Movie time, yeah? What movie? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Pass in the Furious. The first night sleeping in the bus went great. I did wake up a few times. I think it's just from sleeping in a brand new environment. You know, I feel like you always sleep a little bit funny your first night somewhere else. The mattress was really comfortable, so that's a relief. And I'm definitely feeling re-inspired today. I have here a box of things that have been packed since August. I don't know what's in here. It looks just like a bunch of random shit. I tidied up the cabinets in the kitchen because I think there might be some kitchen stuff in that box, but these were freaking gross. <laughs> I guess there's nothing left for me to do now but start putting stuff away. I'm really nervous about this for some reason, like I'm gonna make all the wrong choices or something, as if I can't go back and change it. I really think that all of the kitchen stuff is gonna fit in these big white cabinets. The only thing is, I need something for storage because obviously all this stuff is gonna fall over. I need some kind of boxes or something to keep everything in. And then anything that's gonna go in the couch, I'm trying to make it stuff that I won't need to access that often. Linens, um, things like that are gonna go in the couch. And I'm sure that I'll never change my mind. I'm gonna head off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. I think we're gonna work on trim, you know, like on the ceiling and the floor and stuff because I've seen people say not to skip that part in your build because stuff will build up in the cracks between your floor and your wall and you'll like never be able to get it clean. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> damn idiot. I had my days mixed up. Tomorrow morning is the day I need to finish moving into the bus. So I guess we better get to work. <laughs> Whoops. Not sure how I did that. Okay, now we have to see how much this fridge is gonna fit. I'm stressed. I'm stressed out. <laughs> how did I do this? How did I screw up my days this badly? Everything in here fit with ease and it looks so cute. Also, don't judge me for the amount of Stoke coffee I have. There was an accident at the grocery store and I couldn't remember how much of- I, I forgot that I had it, okay? I forgot. And I- listen, we all make mistakes. We all buy things at the grocery store that we already had at home sometimes, okay? The point is my fridge is cute and I like it. <laughs> Good morning. It's a few days later. I accidentally dyed my hair pink and I think I'm done putting off showing you how I've organized my life in here and I'm just gonna have to accept that it is what it is for now. In this cabinet I have spices and stuff like Benadryl and ibuprofen and COVID tests and stuff like that and also a large bag of rice because that's where it fit. And then here we have some dry goods. Yay, dry goods. Down here is spices, plates, bowls, coffee stuff, salt, all kinds of things. Um, this is really the only cabinet besides the uppers that we have for food and utensil storage. So pretty much everything is in here because... How does this open? This one opens from the wrong side. Okay, and that's because our propane storage has to go down here. So we don't really know what else is gonna fit in here besides the propane, if anything at all. It might just be the propane. Under here is a catch-all for now. Oh, hi. If you wanna know why the inside of this cabinet is green, um, there's an old video on that somewhere. I'll put it if it's just, it's a, it's, I don't wanna talk about it. It's not good. Anyways, um, trash, grocery bags, trash bags, Kleenex, all my hair dye goodies, just random stuff underneath here. And on this side, oh, <laughs> we have towels and toiletries and I've got some makeup in here, which I was obviously playing with this morning since I haven't done my makeup in like three months and I kind of missed it. We've got a few books, some photos, and like chargers and mics in here, bands and stuff for working out, you know, like those stretchy 
things, I guess. There's one more storage location, which I will begrudgingly show you because it's a little bit of a pain to get in there since I haven't secured the couch to the ground yet, but I will still open the couch to show you what's in there. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all those who have hung around this long to kind of see this adventure, and hopefully we'll get on the road soon. I'm almost afraid to even say that because I don't want to jinx myself. Anyways, I'll see you next week. Love you, bye.